God bless you, my beloved. Thank you for being with us today. We are Abundant Grace Church, and I am Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I am the senior pastor of the church. For prayer or information or how to donate to this ministry, please email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Our message title today is Seek God for Wisdom. I will be reading from Proverbs chapter 2 and verse 6. The Lord gives wisdom from his mouth, come knowledge and understanding. My beloved, if you want want wisdom and you want to grow spiritually and personally, there are four things that you must keep in mind. One, environment. You must place yourself in a setting that fosters growth. If you don't, you will not grow. It's like certain types of fish grow according to the size of their surroundings. If you keep them in a small tank, they stay small. But if you release them into the ocean, they grow to their intended size. The same principle applies to you. You must spend your time with the right crowd, in the right place, doing the right things in order to to grow. 2. Strength. The great mystery isn't that people do things badly, but that they occasionally do a few things well. The only thing that's universal is incompetence. Strength is always specific. When you try to be good at everything, you end up being good at nothing. God gave you specific strengths. Identify them and use them. 3. Change. Most of us want things to get better without having to change anything. But the Bible says, my beloved, let us be taken forward to maturity. That is Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 1. To grow, you must commit yourself to not only accepting change, but to pursuing it. 4. Enjoyment. Most grandmasters of chess learn and relearn their moves over a period of 15 years before winning their first world title. My beloved, do you realize that that is almost one-fifth of their lives? If you're going to spend that much time doing something, you'd better enjoy it. If the destination appeals to you, but you're not enjoying the journey, you would be wise to seek God's guidance and make sure you're heading in the right direction. If you're on the wrong train, my beloved, don't keep going. Get off at the next station. So my beloved, the three areas of growth you need to be concerned about is growing in wisdom. That is the wisdom of God. Growing in spirit, which comes from the Holy Spirit, and growing personally, which involves the first two, wisdom and spiritual. Let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, thank you for the message today. We praise you and we thank you for giving us your word, for giving us the tools that we need to grow in wisdom, to grow spiritually, and to grow personally. Thank you, Father God, for your word today and for being there for us, to teach us that we may be successful in all that we do for your praise and glory. We pray this in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory power and majesty, now and forever. Amen. My beloved, walk in wisdom, walk in the spirit, and achieve the personal growth that God has for you. God bless you and go with God.